Hey guys, it's Matt. I want to go ahead and do a uh, quick video on Impedio Security's ransomware shield. Uh, this is this product is not out yet. I think it's coming out very soon, uh, any day now. I, well, actually, you can try it for free. Apparently, uh, Impedio Security's ransomware shield blocks ransomware from encrypting your files. And I don't know if you've ever dealt with ransomware before or not. Basically, you think you get an email that looks legitimate. It may look like a PDF or it may look like, I don't know, a receipt, uh, UPS, something or another, whatever. Um, once it gets on your computer, it encrypts all of your files. And uh, the only way to decrypt them is to pay off the encryptors, the thieves in Bitcoins. And it's just a big mess. So basically, when I get a call from a client, they say they, they're they curious about uh, virus removal, and I'll say, oh, okay, well, why do you think you have a virus? Tell me the symptoms. And they're like, well, we can't open any of our files. Our files are encrypted. And I'm at that point, I'm like, oh, there's nothing I can do for you unless you have a backup. So this utility, Ransomware Shield, will protect your computer from your files being encrypted. Now, let me give you a sample of what happens when you do not have uh, ransomware shield installed, or you have no protection installed. Ransomware is, very, ransomware is very sneaky, and I had to customize my virtual machine. I'm running inside of a virtual machine. I had to customize my virtual machine just to get ransomware to run properly. Uh, so let me go ahead and load this. This looks like a PDF. Uh, so we'll go ahead and double click it. I have actually I've got one file that's very. Let's say it's very important to me. It's my passwords file. You know, I, Put my passwords file in my documents, and I've got some random website one and two, and the actual um, you know passwords for them. So you know that 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 file could mean everything to me. If it gets encrypted, I'm hosed, and if I don't have a backup, I'm in trouble. So let's go ahead and double click this guy. We'll say run anyway. Let's turn up the volume on my speakers here because I think this particular piece of ransomware likes to talk a little bit. I thought it was funny. Oops, sorry about that. I thought it was funny because I haven't heard ransomware talk this much in a while. Let's see if I can yank my speaker over. Eh, you can hear it. It'll come out in a second. It's not. It's not there yet. So the actual file deletes itself or, you know, removes its, its executable part, and then it starts encrypting our files silently. We have no idea anything went wrong. We're just sitting here, you know, using our computer or whatever. So now we see some windows pop up, kind of flash in. Well, one window. <laughs> Hold on. I know I've tested this, so I know it comes up. This is definitely important. I want to show you what happens. Oh, there we go. Attention. This is not a test. All your documents, databases, and other important files were encrypted, and Windows cannot restore them without special software. User action is required as soon as possible to recover the files. Yeah. Uh, at that point, all you documents, all you documents, and other important <laughs> files were encrypted, and Windows cannot restore them. Special software dot user action is required as soon as possible to yeah. recover the files. Right. All you documents are belong to us. Uh, so, yeah, they're encrypted now. They put a, you know, my background has changed and they've, they've told me how to go about and uh, how, how to pay them, basically. Just pay them off in Bitcoin. And it's just a nightmare. It is a nightmare. This has shut down libraries, hospitals, entire entire uh, towns in in the United States. Uh, our library got hit by it uh, in St. Louis. So if you don't have the right protection, this is going to happen to you. And it's it's something I think about every week at work because I don't have anything in place that's ex that that is uh, targets ransomware exclusively. And I, I want to get something like that. But anyway, let's go to my documents. And my uh, passwords.txt is now a Sage file. So I've lost all access to my documents. All right, 
So now you know what happens when you do not have something like Ransomware Shield installed. Let's go ahead and go to a snapshot uh, where I do have Ransomware Shield installed. Now, I would show you the whole install process, but it included some personal information from them, so I couldn't do it. But the whole download takes, I don't know, less than five minutes. It requires three pieces of information, and that's something I'm sure they email you. So the same ransomware on the desktop, but this time I have NPDO Security's Ransomware Shield installed. It is version 1.0.0, very early. I'm sure they're going to make some changes, but I'll go through a few things. So right away, you've got this stuff here. And uh, they'll have to uh, <laughs> deactivate this or change this stuff when this review comes out. Um, the backups, you can back up your entire hard drive. So you can protect my backups, recommended. It'll back up, make a backup every one hour. Overwrite the third oldest backup. And I can create a backup just by hitting create backup. If I want to recover a file, I can click recover. And then click the browse and recover whatever file I want to. Let's just say maybe the file did get corrupted in, in some case or something like that. I can recover a directory if I want to. It's pretty self-explanatory. Because what we're doing with ransomware is we're blocking and, and we're also, we also want to have backups. Ransomware protection, this is kind of interesting. Um, this is something I never even thought about. So if you take a look at all these folders on my computer, these are all like decoys. So if I go into all of these, they're just random files that ransomware would love to target. And it just likes that kind of stuff. So they're all, so basically they're just all traps. So I'll delete all my traps. Cause I made some, I forgot to delete, delete them before, but before you make a trap, your hard drive looks like this. If we want to put out decoys to, to, to help ransomware be detected, we can go ahead and generate file traps. Hit generate. They're created. So now I have all these decoy folders. Maybe I didn't do it right. Hang on. Oh, now they're being generated. Okay. All right, well, it generated a few of them. I don't know. Oh, it stuck a whole bunch of them there. I see how it just nested them all in a few folders. So I've got 141 decoys. And that really does help um, detect the ransomware. I've already tested this, obviously. So if I try to execute, execute this ransomware now, go ahead and say run anyway, and let's see what happens. We are now using Ransomware Shield, and we are executing Ransomware. And we're just sitting here waiting for it to do its thing. You know, our most important passwords file is there. Same window kind of flashed and popped up. Okay. Ransomware detected. Process ID gives us the actual executable. It is targeting our, um, it's targeting our, uh, what do you call it? Trips, traps. <laughs> we'll go ahead and say heal computer. And sitting here waiting. Hmm. 
I don't know if I actually hit that that right. Yeah, I hit it. Okay. So it's a couple of messages. Heal computer. A couple of executables actually went off. I didn't see them. Okay. And we're just waiting for it to do its thing now. All right, well, I will uh, go ahead and pause it and just kind of wait here for a second. Okay, well, I just closed those windows, and it appears all my files are protected. Uh, your personal files are protected. If I go test it, yeah, my files are not encrypted. So I want to go ahead and take this a little bit further. I want to go ahead and just reboot, make sure we're okay. Um, there's, there's nothing here that's going to go ahead and try to re-encrypt me while I reboot. So I'm going to pause it and just restart. Okay, so I restarted. There is no funky background telling me I'm encrypted. Everything looks okay so far. My most important document is still unencrypted. We're still protected. Security Shield has started. And yeah, so that's that's basically it. I mean, it just the most important part of me part to me, like I said, is protecting my files from getting encrypted. Okay, this is nice protected volumes. That's extra stuff they give you for you know included in the price. Um, performance, I again the whole whitelist thing. There's separate programs for that. I don't really care about that too much. You can go ahead and lock. The ransomware shield with a password. If your backups start failing, you can go ahead and restart your backup provider, but you can also just restart your computer too. So my two favorite parts about this are the backups part, recover any files, and obviously the ransomware part. Um, and this whole generate file traps thing is genius. I love that. Just little decoys. It's really neat. Um, the cost on it, I believe it's around 30, 30 something bucks. I want to say that's not linkable. Let's see. Pia security products. I know I saw it somewhere here. They might want to work on that. I would like to buy this, but it's a. A little hard to find the price and all that stuff. They've got their trouble stuff down there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I, I know there there's a spot to buy. It. Oh, get protected! I'm just blind. Sorry. Okay, so you can try it for free right now. Zero. Uh, annual personal pack, so thirty nine dollars a year. So yeah, if you're scared about losing all of your files and this is the most common threat out there right now guys and that's ransomware then this app can protect you from it so anyway thanks for watching the video i'm gonna go ahead and uh get this thing uploaded and i'll talk to you guys later